Hi, I'm Scott from RedmondPhysicsTutoring.com, and this is part two of a video series about the top five mistakes students make with projectile problems. To watch part one, visit my channel or click on the link in the description. As a quick review of part one, the first mistake was forgetting that the acceleration is not zero at the projectile's highest point. The second mistake was forgetting that the horizontal velocity is constant. The third most common mistake is calculating incorrect horizontal and vertical components of a given velocity. To avoid this mistake, practice with vectors. Please, if you want to pass physics, practice with vectors. Here are two quick examples. For v, the velocity I'm drawing on the left of the screen, the horizontal component is v sine theta, and the vertical component is v cos theta. Yes, you heard that correctly. For v prime, which I'm drawing on the right of the screen, my horizontal component is v prime cos theta, and my vertical component is negative v prime sine theta. For more information about vectors, please visit my channel or my website. The fourth mistake is assuming that the final velocity is zero when the projectile hits its target. When solving projectile problems, we use the kinematic equations for constant acceleration a lot. And one key aspect to them is that these equations are only valid for constant acceleration. In projectile problems, the acceleration is caused by the force of gravity. This seems like a no-brainer, right? But still, lots of people get it wrong. Just before hitting its target, the projectile's velocity is not zero. If the projectile's velocity is zero after hitting the target, the deceleration, which is just acceleration in a different direction, was caused by normal forces the target exerted on the projectile. This deceleration is different than gravity, which means the acceleration is not constant. And we cannot use the kinematic equations in this way. We would have to treat the projectile parabolic motion separately from its deceleration motion. Mistake number five is assuming that the initial and final vertical position are the same. Depending on the chicken's initial velocity, the chicken can reach the top of the roof, the middle of the building, or the ground. Three very different final heights. Students often want to use something called the range equation which is actually a very special case. You can use it if you're careful, but be sure you really know what you're doing. And that's it. These are the top five mistakes that students make when solving projectile problems. For a quick recap, here's how you can avoid these mistakes. One, remember that the acceleration is not zero at the highest point. The acceleration is always caused by gravity and gravity doesn't stop. Two, remember that the horizontal component of velocity is constant. Gravity points down and causes acceleration down, not sideways. Three, master vector components so that you can calculate them correctly every time. This is a key to passing physics. Four, remember that the equations only apply for constant acceleration, which for projectiles is caused by gravity. If other forces are acting, like when a ball is thrown or caught, you have to treat those phases of motion separately. And five, be prepared for problems with changes in height. I'm Scott Redmond, and I help students pass physics. I hope this video helps you. If so, please like the video to let me know.